All right, if you still have not visited Displaced by Design's website, I don't know what you're waiting for at this point. Go ahead, check us out. Currently, we are offering 20% off your entire order. Uh, the discount will be applied at the checkout. Head over to www.displacedbydesign.com. Collection three will be available April 30th. Yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait. That was super lame. I don't know why I did that, but yeah. Check it out. I think I like it. 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 What's up, everybody? My name is William. What's up? It's your mother's favorite, William, and I'm back with another video. All right, so I kind of hinted at it in my, well, I actually didn't hint at it. I told y'all in my last video that I am working at Foot Locker now as well. Missed the retail scene, and obviously I can't work at Finish Line anymore, so why not go with the competition? You know what I'm saying? This video, I am going to go over some of my pros and cons working at Foot Locker, and I will go over my hiring experience, uh, that whole entire process and what it would look like for me. So let's get it popping. All right, right off the bat, any and every pro with working in retail and working at a uh, retail store is going to be the discount, the employee discount. Uh, so the employee discount at Full Locker is 30%. Uh, that's what it was at Finish Line, so that's cool. I can work with that. However, uh, right before COVID hit, we had an employee appreciation and our discount went up to 50%. You have a spending limit uh, that you can use your employee discount, which is a con because what if I'm feeling like a baller and I'm trying to blow my whole check at Foot Locker, what if? But I mean, I guess that's fair. That makes sense that it's capped like that, that you could only spend X amount of dollars. We also have this black card, which is pretty cool. It's an employee card that you have to have to make employee purchases. When I was working at Finish Line, I could just have anyone use my code. It was just my employee ID. So I think that's really cool that we have that uh, black card. Uh, the shirts are going to be a pro. I know I did my finish line video. It was a con, but these shirts are actually not that bad. Um, there's also a black shirt. I was not able to get one. We didn't have one in my size. A lot of people wear it buttoned up to here, which is cool. I, I don't know if that's how you're, maybe that's how you're supposed to wear it. When I'm out on the floor, I just, you know, I do my thing. I do my thing, you know, I'll be out there like, uh, you need a size. The shirt has to be a pro. Um, we have a variety of different shirts. We have, well not variety, yeah, actually we do. We have a this one, a long sleeve striped, a black one and a long sleeve, black one. I didn't get any of the black ones. We didn't have it in my size, unfortunately. That's okay, I'm gonna get one when COVID stopped doing what it's doing and the store is open back up. So that's definitely a pro with Foot Locker. The shirts, the variety of shirts, I can switch it up. This one ain't got, I ain't got the sweat stains in my shirts cause I got more than one. But also a con would have to be me not knowing how to wear the shirt. I actually don't know if it's supposed to be buttoned up all the way or not though. I should probably, that's probably something I should know. So I don't know how to wear the shirt. I guess that's kind of a con. The employee training that Foot Locker has, that's a plus. It's called Lace Up. It's an app. You can, it's interactive. You can play games. You watch videos. You do your modules. You do your training. You get points. You get rewarded. Uh, you get to brag about it to your coworkers. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's training every day offered. Um, uh, you can only do it while you're on the clock. So you can only do it at work. You can't do it at home. Um, that's kind of, uh, but... The more you work, the more you get to train and, and, I, and you know, maybe that opens up to some future opportunities with the company. We'll see. I haven't gotten that far. I haven't been able to explore that much because, again, I've only been with the company for about four and a half months. And the last month <clears throat> I've been with the company, it's been during COVID. So world has been shut down and we haven't been working, but they have been paying us. So I don't know if that's every retail store they're paying their employees. But I know that Full Locker has still been paying us even though COVID struck and we haven't been working, haven't been having to go into the store and work. So that's really dope. I think that's really cool. That's a pro. That, that's definitely a pro. Full Locker's shoe selection is crazy because um, it has more of the... It, so my store is a house of hoops. So I have the house of hoops side and I have the actual uh, Full Locker side that offers kids, uh, kids and women's shoes. Having the variety of different shoes in the store available is, is really dope. And even online that I have access to purchasing just being a Full Locker employee. So I really do appreciate having to, uh, being able to use my discount on Foot Locker's selection. I will say a con though is 
they don't have a very wide uh, range in running shoes. So like Nike running shoes or Adidas running shoes. My style is a little different, so I'm not gonna be pulling up in Jordans every day. I wish there were more of a running shoe selection. We also have Vans, man. I'm telling you, that's our shoe selection is really crazy. It's a pro and a con. Honestly, the only, the only con would be not having a wide range in running shoes, but it's still a pro because the selection is crazy. The, the shoe release is fair. It's super fair. I mean, obviously managers are going to have a say and, and if they get uh, certain shoes that we release, but other than that, it's really fair. Uh, only X amount of, of actual part-time employees can use uh, their discount or, you, or have the option to purchase a release date shoe. I think that's really fair. That's fair to the public. I'm, I mean, like, I'm not sure how other stores run their shoe releases. I know how it was done at Finish Line and I know how it's done now and it's just completely different. It's black and white. That's pretty cool. I do like that uh, Foot Locker is partnered with Champs and Foot Action, so I can use my discount at Champs. Finish Line was a standalone, so it didn't have any affiliate stores. So that's a pro to me, man. That's really a pro. I, I do love that I have that option. I guess I really do have more pros with Foot Locker uh, then I do have cons. I mean, the only con what was the sh I don't know how to wear the shirt and they don't have running shoes. Those are silly. Oh, and I guess the discount being capped, like you can't just spend your money, all your money there after a certain amount of time. It does refill though at, at every month or every period or something like that. You reload your, how much you could spend. So, okay. And I've only really been there for about four and a half months, four or five months. So I don't really have too many pros and too many cons yet. I don't even know if I will have more cons. I'm sure I'll have more pros. I do like every all of my coworkers. My management is really dope. My hiring process, I will talk about that because I actually applied to Foot Locker several times over the years and the hiring process is crazy. The application process within itself is pretty crazy because online you have the traditional application. Then you have to do your, your tax info. It's required. And then you have to do this assessment. So the assessment, I don't know if um, that's just where everyone is going now as far as all the retail stores. I really only applied to uh, Foot Locker. Yeah, the application process, I mean the actual, the traditional application, then the assessment, um, which was actually kind of long. It was really long. It wasn't tough by any means. And I've, I mean, I've worked in retail for a very long time, but it was really long. It really, like, I was like sitting there, like I'm not, I don't want to, after a while, I was like, I don't want to do that. Like, I don't want to finish this. I'll come back. But no, it wasn't hard at all. It was just long and tedious. Um, and then I didn't hear from them for a while, like for a week or two. So I guess that's not a while, but I didn't hear from them for like a week or two. Um, two weeks went by. I actually got the call like uh, from one of the assistant managers. Like, hey, you want to come in for an interview? We like your application. And then the next day I got a call from Champs. That's kind of, it's kind of interesting because you, when you apply to one, I guess your resume floats within all of the Foot Locker Champs, Foot Action Affiliate stores. So any of them can really call you and hire you. The interview itself was short. I showed up to the store, met with one of the other managers. I met with the co-manager. It was really, he looked at my application, saw my retail experience. Uh, that I was, I came from finish line, was an assistant store manager. I told him what was up with that job. He asked me what I was looking for because I had the experience and I really told him, I'm like, hey, I have a full time job already. So whatever you guys have part time, I'll do it. If you guys even just want me doing stock, I'm cool with it. It was just something I wanted to do to keep busy. And he was like, all right, say less. And that was it. I got hired. So I got hired in as a, a part time sales associate, but I do stock more times than not a week. I just go in after my after I get off my full-time job, throw my headphones in, and I'm familiar with the stock room, so I just do my thing there. But the hiring process itself and the interview, it's really simple. It's really chill and it's laid back. It's a really chilled and laid back environment. For those of you that are gonna go um, interview with Foot Locker, or interview for any retail store, man, it's best to just be yourself. Let your personality show because you are working in customer service. You don't need to go dressed up in a suit and tie and you don't have to have the acclimates. You don't have to do any of that. That. You just got to be a people person and be somebody that's super chill and not be a nuisance to the management. If you seem like you're about to be a nuisance, trust me, because I did this, you won't get hired. Many of people that I've interviewed, I'm like, no, I'm not about to hire this person. They're about to be a headache. I could already tell they're not about to, they're not here for the right reasons. But I've also hired people that hit it very well and then they were a nuisance. They were a pain. The hiring process itself is very chilled and laid back. As you guys did with all of my finish line videos, man, drop down in my comments if you have any questions about the hiring process with Foot Locker or still even with finish line. But again, they ain't paying me. So why would I answer their questions about finish line? If you have them, shoot them. Shoot them to me. Shoot them my way. I'll definitely answer them. 
Uh, so this video was short, man. I didn't really have too much to say because again, I've only been with the company for less than five months. I haven't really had that much time to experience it, but I definitely wanted to hop on and let y'all know what was up. Needed to give y'all the what's up with the what's up. Obviously this COVID thing got me looking crazy out here. I need a haircut, man. I didn't, I didn't been, I didn't contemplate it cut. No, I didn't. I ain't even about to lie to y'all. I thought about it, but I wasn't really contemplating cutting my hair, man. I'm gonna just do what I gotta do. I actually hit my barber up. I think I might have to pay that pay that at home cut fee man he he taxed him to come to come to the crib for a cut i might have to do it man because who, who's to say when the world will open back up hopefully you enjoyed this video like subscribe comment if you didn't enjoy it like subscribe comment if you ain't gonna do either one of those okay bye but this is your mother's favorite william i'm out